Hey guys, Granokaga here with my introduction to Pytha. Probably one of the best third-party tools out there. I'd rank it S tier right next to uh, Pathfinder, my favorite other tool. Nonetheless, let's get into this. And we have to start off with downloading Pytha. On their GitHub page, we can see a bunch of download options. Make sure you download the latest build. And I uh, chose windows.exe. Once you have it downloaded, you'll have a blank Pytha. Now, what exactly do we do with Pytha? Basically, we import fits into Pytha so that we can see very accurate data on how they perform. So let's import our first fit. You can either go in game and export it into your clipboard through the fitting management window, or we can go on to something like Eve Workbench, find a fit we like. Here's my God's Help Desk C5 Runner fit. We can export it, select all, control C, come into Pytha and press control V to paste, and it will paste that fit straight into it. Now here's the fit, rename it YouTube. I see its name right there, see it right here. Up here, we have our fit window and clearly it is a fully fit ship. And we can read on the top right that we're good on CPU, we're good on power grid, our rigs aren't overdone. We don't have a magical fifth gun or anything. We're good to go. And under that, we can see our buffer tank. How much effective hit points do we have? Currently, it looks like I have a total of 89,000, but do know, you need to get out of the habit of reading your total and get in the habit of thinking about your actual tank. I don't care about that shield tank I have, that shield buffer that gets melted and I never see it again. What I care about is my armor. Once I'm in hole, I'm screwed. So let's just focus on the armor buffer. And we can see I only have 48,000 effective hit points of armor buffer. It's not that much. So now let's look at one of the most important tabs and that is recharge rates. And what we have here is our passive shield, our active shield, armor, and hole. Yeah, hole is a tank, and you can act to take your hole. But uh, we got a paladin here, so we care about the armor repair amount. Now, there's two numbers. The top one is your total tank capability, and the bottom one takes into uh, consideration your capacitor. So if you're not a cap-stable fit, you know, what are you actually going to be tanking at? Uh, that'll be determined by that. So if I throw on my smart bombs and I go uncap stable here, you can see I can sustain 2,800 HP a second. This number right here is what we really care about. Now, every time we go and we look at Ricky's guide and we read the DPS off the site, so 800, 1,500, 1,900, 1,400, we take this DPS number and we are directly comparing it with our active tank number right here, our EHP a second. So in order to tank a stronghold, we need to be able to tank 2,714 DPS. Take a look at our fit, we're taking 3,074, AKA we're 300 EHP in the clear. That's really good. This is over tanked. And that's not even taking into consideration something like boost. Under that, we have firepower. Pretty self-explanatory DPS, DPS, this is what you're doing. So if I change this out from Calm Flag to Scorch, we will see it changes. And we can see what we're doing. Now remember, this is your DPS once you uh, import your character. I'll show that in a minute, but you might be looking at all fives. That's the theoretical best. So this fits theoretical best is 2,408 DPS. And that's before you start tossing in extra damage drugs or anything. Now under that, we have remote reps a second. Let's see, do we have a, no we don't. I will toss in. So let's say I decided to not go smart bomb fit and I decided to go large remote. armor repair. Let's toss two of those in and we can see now under here I'm able to put out 171 raw HP a second. That's not effective hit points, that's raw hit points. Armor hit points. Not the best lodging in the world. I think that's about 
half a guardian, almost half a guardian. I think a guardian does about 400 HP a second. So for comparison there, they're, they're not the worst logic platforms. And you will see a lot of paladins run with remote reps to rep other things on crit. Now, under remote reps is something we really also care about, and that is capacitor. Are we cap stable? Will we survive? Now, this is going to get me into talking about the drifter and how we check our fist to see the drifter will kill us or not. So looking at this fit right now, we can see there's nothing projected on it, no command boost, nothing special. And we are 52% cap stable with plus 29 gigajoules. That's generally good enough to get us through the site, but when we get a drifter on us, that's gonna change. Now let's first import the drifter. I already have the fit saved, so if I just type drifter, we use this empty tab so it loads up onto it. Now I have my drifter fit on one of these tabs. Let's go back to here, go to projected, right click, add current open fit, and choose that drifter fit. I will have a link to this drifter fit in the description, so get that yourself down there. And now that we have this applied, let's look at our capacitor. Pretty screwed. Let's turn on our NOS because you can NOS the drifter. Still pretty screwed. That's because this fit that you're looking at right here is a two fit kind of fit. <laughs> it's a two fit chip. It has a site fit, which is specific for running the site. It, some characteristics are it tanks more and has application mods, and then it has a drifter fit, which is solely focused on not getting muted out. So let me transfer this to the drifter fit. It takes off the tracking computer, it takes off the extra tank mod, and it puts in a cap recharger, and it puts in a cap power relay. And if we take a look now, with the drifter applied to us, we are cap stable. And that's how you check it. And, but this is with all fives. So let me start talking about your skills. How do we do that? Go character, manage ESI characters, add. It'll bring a pop-up window for us. Select your character and log in. It'll then go ahead and give us a little alert. Great job, successful. And we now have our character in game. So instead of all five, we can select our characters. So if I select Grendel, who's a maxed out character, almost maxed out, you know, he barely, 40 DPS off max. I ain't tripping about that. I'm not hunting down that skill. It's also cap stable. You know, these are the things you care about. So if you're ever wondering if you're a Marauders 4 or your shield compensation skills or your armor compensation skills, which are like level three or four are going to affect you, this is how you check. I'm in a drifter fit at the moment. I'm getting 2,322 EHP a second. It's plenty to tank some of these sites, as you saw. We can do the garrison, we can do the Orr's Osmaning, we can do the quarantine zone, but we cannot do that stronghold. What if we had boots? Well, we can simulate that in Pytha. Let's go to command, and let's go ahead and add a boost. Now, you will need a fit stored in Pytha of a boost ship. So if you don't already have a boost ship, this won't work, but we go command fits, and you can just select one of the fits. So I have a fit stored as a damnation called Paladin Sheep and Paladin Pro. Let me just load up the Paladin Pro and we can see we start tanking a whole lot more. We go up to 3,600 EHP a second. AKA our single drifter fit can now tank all the sites. I no longer have to switch between a site fit and a drifter fit. Just one fit, site and drifter. That's great. That's efficiency. We like that. Take it off and we go back down. On, off on off so we projected a fit onto us we projected a command burst onto us what else can we project onto us we can actually project the wormholes themselves so if you want to know how your fit does in some of the wormhole effects out there we can do that right away i can tell you a kata is gonna suck so let's try that one c5 kata how do we do we go from 3600 to 2000 ehp a second that's with command burst so theoretically, we could still do garrisons on the other weaker sites. Strongholds are very much out of the question, but if we didn't have those boosts, we wouldn't be running anything with this fit. <laughs> this fit would just die. <laughs> we know that because we can see it right here, 1,300. Go back and check the damages. Garrison, 1,900, probably not gonna live. 
Unless you guys had hella DPS on grid, in which case DPS tank is a thing. <laughs> if it ain't there to kill you, it can't kill you. Anyways, let's get back to the bit, and we will see a couple more things down here. Targeting and miscellaneous, you can make sense of all these. They're just a bunch of miscellaneous data points that really help with other things. Really, C5s doesn't really help a lot. Price, very good thing to glance at. Just know that the character number and the total number are not actually, the total total would actually be these two numbers plus each other. This total is just the fit, cargo bay, drones, and ship. The character is the actual implants you have loaded in your implants. And boosters. Any boosters you have in here too will be inside the character number. So we imported a fit, we looked at the data, we added boosters. Oh, we haven't added boosters. We haven't done any of this yet. So let's say your fit doesn't get all of these in right away. Let me just delete these. Let me go ahead and remove implants. And I told you, I'm like, hey, look, buddy, my fit needs a mid-grade implant set with it. You're like, okay, I'll get a mid-grade implant set. In the meantime, I need to check Pythus, see if the fit works. So you have the fit. You know you need a mid-grade. How can we get that? Now, there's two ways. We can go market. We can just type in mid-grade. Then let's do a Sclepian. And there they are. We just do one, two, three, four, five, six. And they're all in. Cool, migrated Escalopians are now loaded. Start taking all this stuff off now too. Mm, boosters. Cool, just the implant sets. So cool, we got the migrated implant set. That's one way to do it. Another way is under implant sets, we can just right click, apply implant set, choose the set we want. So Escalopian, toss on a mid-grid. Another easy way to do that. We can select holding control, a bunch of separate items. We can right click the heat and we can then see our heated stats. So guns go from 2,100, 2,400, pretty cool. Let's see what happens if we heat our tank. We go from 2,300 to 3,000, it's pretty cool. It's cool to know what you do when you heat. It's cool to know what you do when you're cold. It's cool to know what you do when you have boosts. It's cool to know what you do when you have boosts and you heat. There's many different scenarios you can put yourself in. Do I have boost? Am I into this effect? Am I heating? Are my skills perfect? You can check everything on Pypha. And I, I hope this helps, guys. It really does. Pypha is super important. Get out there, throw that drifter on you, check with a command ship. Don't forget to check with boosts. Boosts do help. Boosters, the drugs. Implants are a godsend. And uh, yeah. Wish you all a great day. Have a good one.